Hi guys, welcome to my channel at Easy Service, where we make all survey processes to be easier and educative. In this video, I want to quickly show you all on how to make your final longitudinal road profile presentation. However, if you are just joining us for the first time on this series, please, and you do not know how we came about all this, you can kindly check under this video description to see how we generate the profile automatically. Okay? So, in this video, I want to show everyone on how to make their final presentation by editing and flagging the elevations. So, from the last video, I showed us and I introduced us to these two auto lifts command, which one of them was used, which is the profiling 200. However, in this video, I'll be using the elevation marker to flag my elevations. So, the first thing to do in making your final presentation is to click on this grid okay i want to make it continuous so that i can be able to flag my elevations so to make it continuous you choose the two similar features you right click then you come to select similar so it will automatically select the other grids okay then you come to properties then you navigate down to layer here then make it continuous so as you can see it is continuous okay so the next thing to do is to load my elevation marker lips command by typing up on the command line then click on enter so I have it on my desktop and just going to scroll down to where it is here then click on load so it has been successfully loaded then click on close okay so the next thing to do is to come to my command line and type em enter so it is ask me to specify points so i want to flag this point here so i'm going to, i'm just going to click on it so it has flag it so i'm going to do for the next point for the next one and the very last one so as you can see it tallies with what we are having so as it tallies but the it is not rounded up so what i'm just going to do is to click on it delete it then use the initial corrected elevation marked place on it delete this one as well then place the initial one on the flagged point the same way I'm going to do for the rest of them so I am done flagging the elevations by using the elevation marker all right so the next thing I'm just going to do okay I want to remove these grid elevations so I don't have any information there now okay but if you have some informations you can fill it in but in the course of this video I do not have information so I want to make I want to remove it the grid elevations away so what i'm just going to do is to come to line properties here click on it then from beginning to the end click on enter so i'm going to click on trim this is the trim then i'm just going to trim everything which is the ele grid elevation so it is already trimmed out so i'm going to delete this and delete this so when i'm done i am going to activate my auto okay i'm going to activate it so that i can have a straight line joining this point okay so i am going to highlight all this then right click go to move then pick the middle then join this so as you can see the grid elevation is out okay so what i'm having is my information which is ground elevations and the stationary and the distance so i'm just going to delete the line i used to trim so when i'm done with that i am going to change the color of the station these are the changes so i don't want it to have the same um 
the same color with the elevations as you can see the ground elevation is having the same color as the flat elevation marker here so it is all right that way so i want to make the changes to be white so i'm just going to select the changes every one of them so i am done selecting all so you come to properties come to by layer then you can make it white so as you can see it is white which is okay for the changes do we get that so the next thing i'm going to do is to trim out all this above so i do not want anything to be above the elevations the profile elevations so to do just that all right i am going to trim away everything above so to trim i'm just going to come to my trim icon here click on it okay then i'm just going to so as you can see everything will be trimmed out okay i'm going to select everything above so i do not need i do not need all this information above then click on delete so this line as well i don't need it delete so so also all this line i'm going to trim them out anything above my profile is not needed So that is how you are going to trim yours as well. So as you can see, I am done trimming. So this is how it is expected to be. Nothing should be above except the elevations intervals for the profiling that way. Okay. So when I'm done, the next thing I want to do is to change the color of these elevations to tally with the profile elevations so i'm going to change this color here to red okay so by selecting every one of it so i am done selecting so i'll still go to profile properties come to by layer then make it red so what this simply means is that these are the natural elevations and this is the height interval for these elevations so therefore for this particular elevation okay this is the height above and this is the change at change 175 meters the elevation is this the elevation is this and drawing it up this is where it terminates just like that like that like that so that is how you are to present your longitudinal profiling okay in the course of your route survey project all right please if you are in need of the elevation marker check under the video description the um, link to download it's just there you can just click on it to download all right so if you find this video helpful and um, educative enough as well as other of our videos please do well to hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on your notification to keep getting updates from us thank you for watching we hope to see you next time you